Captain! Whoa! Well, excuse me, he, uh, he was killed in this boat? That's right. Uh, I don't know what he was doing out there in the storm. Must be pretty serious about his fishing. <laughs> Got an uncle like that. That's where the lightning hit. Uh-huh. This rod, this metal. Why didn't the lightning hit the fishing rod first? I don't know. Here's the thing. I heard him screaming for help two nights ago. That doesn't make sense. The medical examiner was just here. He put the time of death at midnight last night. Is Mrs. Willoughby here? Here. My husband died last night. I don't think so. I think he died the night before. I heard him screaming. You heard him. They're staying at the FBI cabin. Would you please stop calling it that? Well, talk to Dr. Culver. He was just here. He can tell you that Martin died last night on the lake. I told him not to go out in the rain. You old fool. Isn't that Martin's lucky fishing hat? Why wasn't he wearing it? I don't know. Maybe he didn't want to get it wet. He seemed pretty excited about his new lures. I was there when he bought them. I wonder why he didn't try them out. I don't have to talk to you. Do I? I don't know, Kathy. I think he's asking some mighty interesting questions. Mrs. Willoughby, did Martin have a life insurance policy? Maybe. Did it have a double indemnity clause, which pays double for an act of God? A lot of policies do. Look, I know my rights. If you people think you've got something to prove, then prove it. Otherwise, I want you to go. Lieutenant. <sighs> Thank God. Randy, what are you doing here? Captain, I think Monk is in danger. I tried to call you, but... Okay, this sounds crazy. I've been getting these fortune cookies, and they've all been coming true. Fortune cookies? Yeah, today I got that one. Well, you got this today? Yeah, at lunch. Look, I don't believe in any of this stuff, but that's the third one, and they've all been coming true. Lieutenant, this was made by hand. You see the edge? It's cut with the scissors. Randy, did you just drive up here? Yeah. Get down! that now. God, I'm such an idiot. She dropped the radio into the tub while he was bathing. She wanted to make it look like an act of God to collect the extra insurance. But the Maybe I believed them because I wanted to believe them. All those fortunes were printed in advance just for me. She had to preserve the body until the storm came. That's why she bought those bags of ice. My head is spinning. Which one are you listening to? Neither one. I just sat on the money. The body well, that the coroner easy. would never All know the real time of death. The first fortune predicted that I'd be saved from a dirty death, which is exactly what happened when I left the restaurant. Last night, night during the storm, so she put her husband in the boat, in then cut it loose, waited a few hours, and then reported it as an accident. Now I have to go back and arrest my girlfriend for conspiracy and attempted murder. She should probably break up with me. FBI! 
Vacation, huh? Is it over? Not for you. I'm gonna order a full autopsy on Martin's body. They'll know if it was lightning or electrocution. So what the hell happened here? She electrocuted her husband. Well, looks like we all had a pretty full day. Huh? You guys solved the homicide? I led those two hitmen into our trap. Yeah, that was... Right, Randy. Brilliant. Really good. Thanks. It's jungle out there Disorder and confusion everywhere No one seems to care Well, I do